I'm Karen Eckmeyer. I'm a fiber artist and quilter. And today's video will show you what you need to do to get ready to take the quilted waves vest. Whether you're doing it on your own, uh, following the directions in my wearable waves book, or you're getting ready to take the class, this will give you some ideas for fabric selection and how you need to cut your sweatshirt. So, the vest is based on a sweatshirt. It is the pattern piece that we will use, okay? Um, we're going to need six fabrics, and then we select a sweatshirt, a crew neck, a cheap one, it shouldn't be more than $10 or so, that will match the color palette of your selected fabrics. We're going to use the smooth side of the sweatshirt, and that becomes the lining. So in this case, the same color sweatshirt became the lining here, okay? and. From our fabrics here, one of them is what I call our primary fabric or our primary color. And it may or may not be a multicolor that you've chosen, or it may be just one that you really like. So in this one, my prime color is the green. It became the um, lapels, and then it is also the back. And this piece up here, this vest, the blue is the primary color and so that becomes also the back of the vest. On this one I decided to use the multicolor batik as my lapels and that became the main primary color. So whatever that color is, it's used on your back also. Notice the beautiful cherry wood fabrics. That's what I used for the colors to go. It, they are hand dyed and they make it look like they're a, a suede or a velvet. Just really nice fabrics. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start taking the sweatshirt apart. I'm going to start with cutting the cuffs and going up the side. So here we go. Okay, now we're ready to start. I actually started here. I'm going to cut the cuff, bottom cuff or band, off just right above the line of stitching. And just go right along here. We'll even it up later to match or create rather the length that you want your vest to be. Your vest can either be uh, rest at your hip or your waist. That will be up to you. Okay. Now that the waistband is gone, take your sweatshirt, make sure it's nice and flat, and that the seams of the armpit are matched up with the sides there, because we're going to take our scissors and go right up the side. And when we get to that point, We'll just make sure we're even with that seam that's underneath the armpit. And because this is a vest, not one of my jackets, I normally take this seam out by, with a seam ripper, but for a vest I do not. I'm going to cut just right next to the armhole seam. And I'm going to do that for the other side also. Now before I take these seams apart, let's just mark the back, and I've done that with the next, just so that you know which is the front and which is the back. Because our next step is we're going to take the seams apart with the sh at the sh shoulder, sorry about that, with a seam ripper. And then once I get to the neck band, I'm going to cut right along that edge of stitching again. Okay. 
Alrighty, now we have our front piece, and I know this is my back piece because the label fell out, but I've marked it with an X. Okay, we have our front and our back pieces of our sweatshirt cut. This is the front. We're going to fold it in half, like so, and make a crease. All right, and then we're going to mark that crease. You notice I had done that a little bit before ahead of time. Mark that with chalk, and we're going to cut right down the center of that. Now, we want to measure the length here from here to here, which is 19 and a half. And what I'm looking for, I want to get a third of that, which happens to be about six and a half. And my lapel goes down, it's, it goes down about two thirds. So six and a half is a third. Turn the ruler up the round there. So I'm going to mark six and a half here, and I'm going to mark six and a half here. Your measurements will be different, but whatever the third amount is. Now I'm going to take from that point up to the shoulder, and that's where I'm going to cut to create the angle of the front of my vest. So we're going to just cut right down like so. Oops, there we go, and I'm going to do the other side the same way. Okay, so I've marked two-thirds down, and I have the third down here at the bottom. Okay, now we have the front two pieces cut. Now to get ready for class, what I'd like you to do is take your back pattern piece, your back sweatshirt piece, and I want you to put it on your primary fabric and cut it so that it's about a half an inch or an inch larger than your sweatshirt back piece. Notice this is the smooth side and this is the fuzzy side that will go against the wrong side of your fabric. If I didn't mention before, and I don't think I did, save those sleeves that you cut off. You might want to use that to lengthen your vest if it's not long enough for you. And the last thing that you need to do to get ready for class, or in preparation if you're at home making the vest um, in your own house, is that from each of these six fabrics, I want you to come to class with a four inch by selvage to selvage, so four inch by about 44 inches long, two strips from each of your fabrics because that way when you get to class you're going to be ready to make waves and this is the kind of thing we'll be doing. We're going to bake the waves, that's the back or the inside, we will be doing this, the fun part, in class. Hope to see you soon. Bye.